When started, I run the restaurant. I got problem paying the renter. I don't know how to run the restaurant. It almost closed down. Hi, I'm Jenny Yap. I'm the third generation of Guan Ho Sun Restaurant. Guan Ho Sun Restaurant is the oldest Pranakan restaurant in Singapore since 1953. We serve very traditional, authentic Pranakan food. It started from my grandfather, Mr. Yap Chi Kui. He come from Hainan Island. When he come to Singapore, he worked for the Pranakan family as a housekeeper. He's uh, very lucky he was taught how to cook Pranakan food. When he saved enough money, he started his own uh, coffee shop known as Guan Ho Sun Restaurant. Pranakan culture comes from the descendants of these uh, immigrants. The Chinese traders married the local Malay. When their children is born, they are known as the straight born or the Pranakan. The man is called the Baba, the ladies is called the Nonya. And this is where Pranakan food is born. In fact, Pranakan have Teochew Pranakan, Hokkien Pranakan, they also have Hindu Pranakan. The Pranakan culture, the most important is the food. Of course, there's a lot of difference in Pranakan food and Chinese food. Pranakan food use a lot of rumpa, where Chinese food you don't use rumpa at all. Without the rumpa, you cannot do good dishes like ayam bakra, uh, ikan asam nanas pedas, or uta uta. You know, all these are from the scratch. You need the rempa to make into all these dishes. The rempa is langkwas, uh, onion, shallots, you need bakras, asam skin, turmeric, red chili. Then, with all this uh, rempa, Okay, you got to grind. You grind ready, you got to use the wok and fry the rempa. Ayam bakra is our most popular dish. Bakra is either you love it or you don't like it. Because it has a very unique taste. The recipe is from my grandfather and was passed down until today. We do very good rempa for the ayam bakra. All the ingredients are fresh one. And this bakra we mince with the minced meat and fish meat and we stuff it back again. It's an extra work. To soak the bakra, you already need three days to wash it clean, everything, boil clean. After you do all this, then you can cook your ayam bakra. And you cannot consume on the same day. The next day, then you can consume. It will be more tasty. So the total, you need about five days to cook the bakra. That's why a lot of people prefer to buy ayam bakra from us. Because it's a lot of hassle of work. When I join the restaurant, I know nothing at all. Besides running the kitchen, you also must know how to run the sales side. A lot of people may not recognize you. To them, it's just that I'm too young to know how to cook uh, Pranakan food. Because this restaurant was run from my grandfather to my father, then to me. You know, I don't hope it ends on me. So, I've, of course, I feel very sad. But uh, I tell myself, uh, never say die, never say cannot. Up to today, I still tell my service, I'll try my best, you know. If I still can provide quality, good Pranakan food with my service, with my relationship, I think I still can survive. After for a while, I learn how to cook better and I do talk to a lot of nonias and babas. Of course, the nonia will criticize you when you don't cook good Pranakan food, but I'm very blessed that a lot of the nonias, they teach me. This is why I can survive until today. When Mr. Lee Kuan Yew is around, uh, he used to call us and say that he's from Istana. He used to order like one month twice. Most of the time it's Monday and ask us to prepare the dishes for them and the drivers will come and pick up. Actually, I do not know who is eating the food. I was only told that uh, I'm calling from Istana, you please get ready the food. Uh, I will come and pick up at a certain time. I was so surprised and proud. <laughs> Mr. Lee Kuan Yew's uh, mother is a very good cook. I did read through her cookbook. Her cooking is very close to my grandfather's cooking. So I think maybe this is the reason uh, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew likes our food. He can feel the mother's cooking. <laughs> Pranakan food is very important because it's the culture, the food, the clothing. People when come to Singapore, they will want to try that. Because not every country has Pranakan food. So I think Pranakan food represents Singapore.